Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Adam Small checking in again from Aurora, Colorado. Uh, it's August, summer's over. Um, it's been a couple months since my last video. Um, today, I'm gonna make a video on how to program your ethos based radio. So if you get a low BEC voltage or a low receiver battery voltage, um, you're gonna get an alert on your transmitter, an audio alert, <clears throat> which probably means you should probably land your airplane or helicopter. Uh, for example, I have my Tron Dynamic uh, helicopter uh, plugged in and connected to my radio right now. And uh, here's my Tron Dynamic. And uh, a lot of people are into a very good habit of putting up the uh, putting in these backup capacitor packs. Um, this one is, uh, I think I got it from Aero Panda. It was an R2 buffer pack. Uh, I think it's a 50 ferrite. Um, anyways, um, it's a big capacitor pack. So if the BEC in my that's built into my speed controller fails, then that means. Uh, I get a drop in voltage on the bus in my receiver gyro. And then the capacitor pack down here will take over for a little bit. Um, but basically what I want to set up is I want an audio alert. So if my receiver uh, power or BEC voltage uh, drop, drops below a predetermined threshold, um, I want to get an alert on my transmitter because uh, if I get that alert, that probably means my capacitor backup guard has taken over and you don't have a whole heck of a lot of time uh, on that backup guard. You have enough time, uh, you know, basically to auto rotate or land your helicopter or uh, glide in your airplane. Um, so here's my X20RS uh, transmitter here. Um, so first I'm going to go to model next page and I'm going to select telemetry and when you set up your new model uh, you probably want to discover new sensors and it's going to discover all the telemetry uh, coming from your model I've already done it and as you can see I have a whole lot of telemetry that's coming into my transmitter so let me just go to the top and then you're going to scroll down and find uh, BEC voltage which is Luckily, it's on line number one for me, and you can see I have about 8.3 volts. Okay, so I think I set, when I set up my uh, speed controller, I, when I programmed it, I set the BEC for about 8.3 volts. Um, if you're using a receiver battery, you may see RX bat somewhere on this list, and that's what you're gonna use. Um, to set up your alert, I'm going to use BEC voltage because that's what I see, okay? All right, so now I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit return, and I'm going to go to logic switches. As you can see, I have nothing added here, but I want to add a logic switch for BEC voltage. Basically, I'm going to tell the radio if the voltage gets below a certain amount, below 8.3, and I'm going to just choose uh, 7.5 volts, okay? I wanna get an alert when my BEC voltage drops below 7.5. All right, and then I'm gonna name it, and I'll just name it low BEC voltage. Okay. Uh, function is normal and then the drop down menu I'm going to select a less than X okay source now I'm going to select the source this is where you want to select telemetry so this tap on category and then scroll down until you get to telemetry select telemetry Oh, and as you can see, it automatically populated BEC voltage there. But if it didn't, just tap on that, and then you're gonna scroll through this list 
and find your BEC voltage or your receiver battery voltage, okay? Um, but we already ter determined earlier on my model uh, in that telemetry uh, page, it showed BEC voltage of 8.3 volts. So I'm just like BEC voltage uh, value, okay. So I'm gonna select, um, my BEC is putting out 8.3. I don't want an alert too close to that uh, because when you're flying the model and you're hammering on the sticks, doing a hard maneuver, um, you're gonna get a voltage drop naturally uh, because those servos are uh, demanding a lot of power. So I'm just gonna select uh, maybe one volt below. So I'm gonna select 7.3 volts, how about that? So I'm just using my scroll reel down here. There's an easier way to do this, but uh, just for this video, um, I'll use the scroll wheel. All right, there's six volts. And I'm almost there. Okay, there's 7.3 volts. Active condition, I want it to always on. Uh, no uh, delay. I am going to select select a little delay, uh, just in case there's a little spike. I don't want to get a, you know, a warning. So I'm going to select a half a second delay before active, and a half a second delay before inactive. And I don't need any confirmations. I don't need any min duration or max duration. And I don't need anything in my comments section. Okay. So I labeled it, titled it, A less than X. Then you select the telemetry that's showing your uh, bus voltage going to your servos. Uh, and then I selected the value about one volt below my, my normal value of the BEC, always on. And then I just I put in half second delays. All right. So we just programmed a logic switch. All right. Now... I went back and back again, and then I'm gonna to go to special functions. And this is where you can set up your audio alert. So basically we're gonna set up an audio alert uh, off that logic switch we just created. Right, so let me just zoom in a little more here. All right, I haven't programmed it yet, so I'm gonna set up a new uh, special function switch. Uh, action. So we're gonna tap on that. And you could play audio. If you have an audio file on your transmitter that says like low receiver battery or low BEC voltage, you could select play audio and then uh, select uh, that wave file. I've already gone through it and there's no good wave file on my radio uh, to alert me of a low BEC voltage or low receiver voltage. Uh, there, there are some low voltage uh, audio files, um, but to me that seems like it would be the main flight battery, flight pack has low voltage. So what I do is my radio has a play text feature. Some of the ethos-based radios have it. So I'm going to play a text. So this is basically text-to-speech that I'm going to set up. I'm going to enable it and active condition. Uh, I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna select logic switches. And then we can see I got logic switches, whoops, and then low BEC voltage. That was that logic switch we just set up. And we can see it's available now. So play text, enable, low BEC voltage. Uh, I don't want it globally. And then uh, text, so this is what I want the text to speech to say. So I'm just gonna, and it's better to do lowercase. Um, that way the text to speech function works better. So I'm gonna say low, and then if you capitalize the letters, it'll spell out each letter at a time and you'll see that low B E C space. And now I wanna go back to lowercase full 
Heritage. Enter. Repeat. I probably do want it to repeat because that's a pretty important uh, low. That's an alert. I probably want to hear more than once. So I'm going to slay. Uh, now I'm using my scroll wheel. I want it to repeat maybe every five seconds. How about that? Uh, skip on startup is fine. All right, so we got play text. It's enabled. I selected my logic switch that we created on the previous step. I don't want it global. I never use global on ethos based radio. Uh, and then the text, I want it to say low BEC voltage. So that's what it should say in its kind of robotic female voice, all right? And then it's going to repeat every five seconds. And I'm going to go back. All right, so low BEC voltage, and that's my special function 12. You can see I have a lot of uh, special function set up. All right, so now we're going to test it. So my capacitor is plugged in back here, uh, so it's fully charged, that uh, capacitor backup guard. So if I unplug my main flight pack, uh, the voltage sh should start dropping, and then I should hear an alert on my radio. All right, so let's do this. All right, so I just unplugged the main flight pack. And you can see my main voltage on the flight pack's dropping. Meanwhile, the BEC voltage, well, the BEC stopped running, so now the capacitor has taken over. I'm gonna wiggle the- Low BEC voltage. There we go. Low BEC voltage. So it's saying low BEC voltage every five seconds. Low BEC voltage. So you can see if I lose my BEC, I could still... Low BEC voltage. You know, I probably have up to a minute of control of these servos uh, in order to auto-rotate or uh, land low the helicopter. Low BEC voltage. All right. I hope this video helps. And uh, if low you have any BDC suggestions voltage. or uh, topics you want me to cover in the future, uh, put them in the comments. Low All right. BDC Take voltage. care, guys. See ya.